What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network here with a reading of the Bitcoin Optech Group newsletter, today number 26 on December 18th, 2018. This week's newsletter describes the new Lib Mini Sketch library for bandwidth efficient set reconciliation, links to an email about Schnorr and Taproot plans, and mentions an upcoming Lightning Network Protocol specification meeting. Also included are lists of notable code changes in the past weeks from popular Bitcoin infrastructure projects. Action items. Help test the Bitcoin Core version 0.17.1 release candidate 1. The first release candidate of this maintenance release has been uploaded. Tested Testing by businesses and indi individual users for both the daemon and GUI is greatly appreciated and helps ensure the highest quality release. News. Mini sketch library released. Bitcoin developers Peter Woolley, Gregory Maxwell, and Glab Nomenko have been researching optimized transaction relay as described in the news section of newsletter 9. One result of that research is the new standalone library they've released in Lib Mini Sketch that allows transferring the difference between two sets of information in roughly the byte size of the expected difference for, to themselves. This may not ex sound exciting. The resync tool has done that for over two decades. But Lib Mini Sketch allows transfer the difference without knowing what uh, they what they are ahead of time. For example, Alice has elements 1, 2, and 3. Bob has elements 1 and 3. Despite neither knowing which elements the other has, Alice can send Bob a sketch the size of a single element that contains enough information for him to reconstruct element 2. If Bob instead has element 1 and 2 and not 3, the exact same sketch allows him to reconstruct element 3. Alternatively, if Bob sends Alice a sketch based on his own uh, two element set, while Alice has her three element set, she can determine which element Bob is missing and send it to him directly. This sketch can provide a powerful new way to optimize relay of unconfirmed transactions for the Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer network. The current gossip-based mechanism has each node receiving or sending 32 byte in, in identifiers for each transaction for each of their peers. For example, if you have 100 peers, you're sending or receiving 3,200 bytes of announcements plus overhead for what is on average just a 400 byte transaction. An early estimate using a simulator indicates combining sketches with shortened transaction identifiers for relay only and could reduce total transaction propagation bandwidth by a factor of 44x. Sketches also have the potential to provide other desirable features. For example, Lightning Network Protocol developer Rusty Russell started a thread on the Lightning Dev mailing list about using them for sending Lightning routed table updates. Isn't that fantastic? Description about what might be included in Schnorr Taproot software. Bitcoin protocol developer Anthony Towns has posted a well-written email describing what he thinks ought to be included in a soft fork that adds Schnorr signature a theme plus taproot style Merkleized abstract syntax trees to Bitcoin. This is not a formal proposal, but it's similar to opinions we've heard from other developers, and so it should give a good overview of the current thinking. Lightning Network Protocol IRC meeting. Protocol developers for, L for Lightning Network have agreed to try converting their periodic meetings for developing the Lightning Network specification from a Google Hangout to an IRC meeting after receiving requests from several developers. The next meeting will be Tuesday, January 8th at 19 UTC. Notable code changes. This week in Bitcoin Core, LD, C Lightning, and LibSec P256 K1. For Bitcoin Core, moves various miscellaneous options that open separate dialogues in the Bitcoin Qt graphical user interface to a new top level menu with an item labeled window, hopefully making those options easier to find and use. LND update adds a new list unspent RPC that lists each of the wallet's unspent outputs.
It can take two parameters. One, the minimum number of confirmations the unspent output must have, or two, the maximum it can have. The maximum can be set to zero to print unconfirmed outputs. Lightning Network or LND update adds the ability to get the status of the autopilot functionality as well as allowing enabling or disabling it while the program is running. Autopilot is the ability of the software to automatically suggest new channels to open when a user is first connecting to Lightning Network or wants to additionally spend capacity. A C Lightning commit disables the default the option data loss protection features described in the notable commits of newsletter 10. The feature wasn't working reliably, so it will only be enabled for users that opt in to experimental features. Another C Lightning commit allows users to plug in to, to log notifications that will be written uh, to the Lightning these uh, log files. Another C Lightning commit adds a small Python library and framework that can be used for writing plugins. It, prov it provides function decoders similar to those used by the popular Flark library that can be used to tag functions as providing particular plugin interfaces, and this information is automatically used to generate a plugin manifest. The sample helloworld.py plugin has been updated to the library, uh, reducing its size by 75%. 100 line, 111 lines to 28 per lines. Holiday publication schedule. Due to the holidays, the Optech newsletter will not be publishing a newsletter on December 25th or January the 1st. Instead, we'll publish a special year in review newsletter on Friday, December 28th, and we'll return to our regular Tuesday's publication schedule starting on January 8th. Peers, you got to subscribe to the Bitcoin Optag newsletter to get all this wealth of information for free, thanks to the amazing Bitcoin Optag group. And of course, also to all the contributors and researchers of this phenomenal organization. Peers, thank you very much and see you on the next reading. Bye-bye.